Hello and welcome to our first video tutorial for OpenCart 3.0. Today we'll talk about one of the new features that OpenCart introduced in the latest version of their platform, more specifically the language editor. The new language editor is an easy way to edit the text and languages in your storefront. What makes it easy is that you don't have to access the code. You can use the language editor to make all the changes you want straight from the admin panel. Let's see how the language editor works. Go to your admin panel, click on design and then language editor. The section will be empty since we haven't made any changes yet. To begin, click on add new in the top right corner. Let's start with an example. For instance, we can remove the powered by open card sign in the footer of our store. First, we select the store. If you're running a standard open card installation without a multi store setup, leave this at default. Then we select the language we want to use. This is in case you're in a store with multiple languages. If not, leave the language at English. Now, time to find the route containing the Powered by Open Card sign. Since it's located in the footer, we select common slash footer from the drop down. The drop-down in the key field will show all the entries that you can edit in the footer of your store. The Powered by OpenCart sign is controlled by the key called text underscore powered. The default field shows the current text that is displayed in the storefront. Since we want to remove the entry, we'll just leave the value field empty. This will erase the current data in the key. The change we just made is now locked in the list and you can access it for more changes at any time. Now, let's see the change in the storefront. Click on your profile icon and go to your store. Scroll down to the footer and you'll see that the Powered by OpenCart sign is no longer there. Let's give another example. This time, why not change the Add to Cart button? Let's go back to the language editor and add a new entry. The route that contains the Add to Cart button, in our case, is NGB. This depends on the language you're using. The key we need to select is button underscore cart. As you see, the Add to Cart value appears in the default field. To change it, we need to use the value field. Let's enter something like order now. Now, let's click save and go to our storefront to view the change. As you can see, the button text has changed in the home and product pages as well. So, bottom line is that changing these values is now much easier in OpenCart with the new language editor. We hope you understand how the language editor works Hit the like button if this video has helped you and subscribe for more upcoming OpenCard 3 tutorials.